Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a Poison Ivy Sorcerer build guide for Baldur's Gate 3. So Poison Ivy from Batman, this was a requested video, and while it's not the most powerful build because poison damage is not amazing, it still fits a pretty cool theme and I want to do this video. So we're going to be starting with the Sorcerer here, and as for our cantrips, this is the only time that I would ever really take Poison Spray. This gives us the ability to do poison damage with this, so not amazing, but uh, we'll go with that. Shocking Grasp. Because this is going to stop the target from using reactions. Bone Chill will stop the target from healing. Also kind of fits the theme. Necrotic is not quite poison, but close enough for the theming of this build. And we're going to use Minor Illusion to mess with Batman. And because it can group enemies together for when we want to drop something like a Chromatic Orb on them. Now as for our spells, it's best to go with Chromatic Orb because that's going to be a reliable source of damage that we can make poison. So we'll go with that. And also shield. I really like magic missile, but shield increases armor class by 5, and that's super useful early on for survivability. As for our subclass, we're going the Draconic Bloodline because this will give us built-in mage armor and give us one extra health point per sorcerer level. As for the sorcerer uh, and Dragonic Ancestor, we're going to go with the green one because this will give us Ray of Sickness, and it'll buff our poison damage at level 6, so... That is nice. That gives us that little poison boost that we need. Now, for our stats, something like this. Charisma 17 is really nice. We could go 16. If you're the main character, you can use your Hag's Hair to make that 18 and then first ability score to take it to 20. We want to have a good dexterity, though, because that's going to be important for our armor class. So you can rearrange your points so that you can get at least 14 constitution, 16 dexterity. You could also take that extra point out of Charisma if you don't have the Hags here and put it into Intelligence or Strength. We'll go with something like this to keep it pretty balanced. So there it is. Um, so you can also create this. I use no mods to make this character and it looks pretty much like Poison Ivy as best that I could. Um, so it is creatable pretty much in anyone's game. Now, as for our next level, this is where we should take Magic Missile. This gives us guaranteed damage. Uh, which is nice. So we want that. As for our meta magics, I really like Distance Spell, which increases the range of spells, and Twin Spell, which can allow us to twin haste, which is one of the best things that a sorcerer can do. So that'll just give us the ability to be a bit more powerful since we're not going in on like a lightning or cold sorcerer build, which is some of the best builds in this game. So for our next level, uh, I think that it's best to go with like Hold Person or Misty Step. Hold Person. If you got a team of martial classes, attacks within 3 meters are always critical hits, so... <clears throat> Depends on your team's makeup. If you have less frontline fighters, Misty Step will give you more survivability, and this will give you the, a higher chance of getting your martial class to hit critical hits. Now, for our meta magic, Quicken Spell, Buy and Fire. Three sorcery points, but we can cast a bonus action spell, which is really, really nice. <laughs> uh, very powerful. So we're going to, we'll go with that. And we get ourselves another, we get ourselves our first feat at level four. And another cantrip. So acid splash can be another okay one. Acid isn't the same as poison, but again, we'll go for the theming. It's close enough. <laughs> and then for this level, we can take Misty Step or even Scorching Ray as a good damage option too. If we don't want to stick with like just pure poison. But I'm going to go with the Misty Step there because uh, I think that just extra survivability is nice. Now for our feet, I think Ability Score Improvement is the best option. So take our Charisma up to 18. That will give us some higher spell save DC. As well as give us a bit more uh, of our face roll stats. So if you're doing Dialogue, Persuasion, Intimidation, etc. will be a little bit higher. Now for our next level, there's not really many Poison... Um, spells so stinking clouds okay it prevents creatures from taking an action it's nice but damage is always the best option so haste seemingly would be the best choice here if you're someone that doesn't like haste fireball lightning bolt and counter spell are another great choices i just think that the extra bonus action is so massive or the extra action is so massive and we can twin it to another teammate so that is also really effective at level 6, we get the Elemental Affinity Damage, so whenever we cast a spell of our Drake Counter to Ancestry, we add our Charisma Modifier plus 4 to the Poison Damage, and then we could also potentially become resistant to it, which is pretty nice. Some races will have a Resistance to Poison built in, but uh, 
for our next level spell, we can go with we need a damaging spell. Fireball is nice, but I really like lightning bolt because if you have someone that create can create water, you can use this to blast them and deal double damage. So this will give us a little bit more damage, but fireball is also a really fun option. If we're using something like plant growth, um, which we don't get, but we could have another teammate set us up with that. Uh, you can use water on top of it and then you lose lightning bolt, but plant growth will die from fireball. So in the interest of saving the plants and poison ivy, we will just not go with that. Now for our level seven spell, we get some other choices here with uh, ice storm or wall of fire. Wall of fire is kind of crowd control damage because you can make a wall of fire and it blocks the enemy from, well, the enemy can run through and take damage, but typically not. <clears throat> I think ice storm fits the theme a nature. And this gives us the ability to interrupt concentrations on spells. Sleet Storm will do the same, but this is more, a little bit <clears throat> nicer because it does damage too. So we'll go with that there for our next level spell. The Sorcerer itself gets less spells than the Wizard does, but we do got um, we do got a lot of good damage options. I would also probably say to take Counter Spell or Fireball at this point. We have Lightning Bolt already, but Fireball is just a really great spell. I'm going to take counter spell though. You can take fireball if you'd like. And we're going to take an ability score improvement at level 8 to take our charisma up to 20. I think that just works best for this build. And even something like uh, war caster would be nice to give you advantage of saving throws to hold concentration and cast shocking grasp as a reaction. We could also potentially, um, if you really want a druid spell, we could go with this and you create water or something else, but I don't think that that's a good option. I think it's just best to go with our increased charisma because that's just going to help out with our overall damage, adding damage to this poison attacks. Um, but yeah, once we get up to uh, level five spells, we actually get our, I love Cone of Cold, but this is a, this is the best poison spell in the game. Cloud Kill 5d8, craft a large cloud that deals poison damage per turn. You can reposition the cloud every turn. We're going to go with that because that is just really nice. So uh, poison damage. Another nice thing about poison damage is we can summon in a bunch of zombies and then they are immune to poison damage. So that can be pretty nice. We'll take Ray of Frost there for a next leveled spell. Hold Monster is really good, but again, if you have a Create Water team set up, Cone of Coal is just guaranteed great damage. Add Max can do 128 damage. So that's really good. Um, it hits in a large area too. Just a reliable damage source if we didn't take Fireball. As for our meta magic, I like Subtle Spell to cast while silenced, but you can also go with Extended Spell if you want to create a higher duration for your spells. And at level 11, this is where we get our, I guess the best uh, spell that we could get with Chain Lightning. Um, this is a nature-based spell, so I think this works on this build very well. Circle of Death can be okay if you want to use the Necromancy Staff, but I think Chain Lightning is just the best choice here. So we'll take that, and then for our final level, I think it's just best to actually either take another level of Sorcerer, or we can add in the Wizard, because the Wizard can give us Create Undead, and with that we can summon in... We can do some pretty cool things because they're immune to poison damage, so I would say to go that route. Uh, we can also take Friends there. As for the spells, we could go with any spell that you haven't previously taken. So we'll go with that. We can only prepare one until we put on the Intelligence Circlet. So we'll take that. Now that's what's nice about this build is we can... Um, we actually got some pretty good damage options. So um, it's a Sorcerer at the end of the day. It's going to be strong. Now for our our staff, I would recommend having the Marka Hesh gear because that's one of the best staffs. It would be the best staff in the game. Um, so we're going to throw that on, and I also like to have the Viconia's Walking Fortress. Really, whatever shield you can get that's going to have a high armor class, that'll be great. So we got a nice 23 armor class from that. Um, that's not too bad, all things considered. We got the Ring of Protection, Evasive Shoes, and the Cloak of Protection. Those are the Birthright hat on. They'll give us the 22 Charisma. However, if we added in the Wizard, we want to have the Intelligence Circlet on because it's just going to give us... Uh, the ability to prepare more spells. I'm not sure where I put it on this build, so we'll just pretend, but you'll be able to prepare four wizard spells. And with that, we can even go ahead and learn like Conjure Elemental to have like a water elemental. We can also learn like Create Undead, so we can have Undead on our side, which are immune to poison. 
Uh, I would also recommend stocking up some scrolls of cloud kill if you can, because it's just nice spell. It's a nice spell to have alongside this. Um, but we can learn really any, like as you can see, we can learn any high level spell there. So that is the beauty of adding in wizard is we get a lot of versatility and uh, we get to prepare four of those spells. So that's quite nice. You could also go with the hood of the or the hood of the weave if you don't want to use the birthright because the plus two to charisma will give us a bit of extra damage, which is really nice. Um, we could even use the Crypt Lord Ring to create Undead Level 6. This is one of the best builds for it, I would say, actually, which is kind of funny because they are immune to poison. So, um, whenever you create an Undead, you can use them and you can just spam your, your Cloud Kill and it's not going to take them out. So, the way we typically want to do combat as a uh, Poison Ivy Sorcerer is we would like we would like to start off combat with our Poison skills as much as possible. So, something like Poison Spray is more of a close range attack, but... We can go with Cloud Kill, and that just drops a ton of damage on there. What's nice, too, is you can get resistance to the damage type, so if you use Cloud Kill, you can walk inside of it if you have the resistance. Well, I guess you still take a bit of damage, but... Um, yeah, Cloud Kill does a quite a bit of damage, and then you can reposition the Cloud every turn. So, that's a nice thing, is you can keep repositioning it and dealing more damage. Um, and then it won't require you to use up your spell slots, so... You can continually spam that while you have your Create Undead out um, doing its thing. Uh, that's the nice part about De Undead is they are immune to this cloud kill, so we can go ahead with that. And then we also have things like our, ch our good old fashioned Chain Lightning, which brings a good amount of damage. And then uh, like Lightning Bolt too. And uh, then we have things like Acid Spray. We got lots of different options. I would recommend going with more of your poison based spells as much as possible. But uh, I understand it's not always the easiest thing to do a bunch of poison attacks, so um, that's pretty good damage, 20 with that. Um, you just got to be mindful there are some things that are resistant to that are resistant to poison damage. Ray of Sickness also has an attack roll, which is pretty nice, giving you the ability to critical hit with it. So that is a really nice be benefit, I guess, of the, uh, the poison skill of Ray of Sickness is... You can poison a target, give them disadvantage on their attack rolls, and then on top of that, you can also um, give them disadvantage on ability checks. So, yeah, I would be spamming Cloud Kill as much as you can, and uh, moving your zombies out of it too, or moving your zombies into it, because then they can, like, kind of attract enemies into it to take more damage. But you got things like Hold Person, Haste, Magic Missile for the guaranteed damage, which is really nice just to be able to pump that out and hit someone for consistent damage, but yeah, the um, the nice thing about this build is that we got different, we got some different options if it's a very poison resistant enemy, so we even have like Ice Storm to create icy surfaces so they can slip inside, inside of the cloud kill, so lots of great options for this poison ivy build this was a request again so it's not gonna be the most powerful build in the game but it's still a pretty fun one so i love these theme builds if you have any recommendations for a build that you'd like to see in baldur's gate 3 please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching if you found this video fun please hit that subscribe button below and i'll see you in the next one